All right, Lakeland School community, this is your assistant superintendent, Mr. Novak. Today is Tuesday, May 5th. It's an A day, it's also Cigarette Mile. If we were in our brick and mortar building today, we would probably be having our normal cultural celebration, which is put together by the World Language Department. They do a phenomenal job every single year. Um, you know, unfortunately, it's one of the things that we're not going to get to experience this year. But we're going to keep this note positive today just because there was so much information that dropped yesterday. I want to get back to making, you know, daily announcements before I end on a, a positive note with Teacher Appreciation Week. So let's just get right into it. So yesterday we know that Governor Murphy did announce that school buildings, buildings, would be closed for the rest of the academic year. However, I want you guys to know we're still conducting virtual learning. We are not done for the year. Don't let the governor's announcement yesterday mark that as something that you guys are looking at as we are quote unquote done for the year. We're not. This means a few things for you. Number one, we're in quarter four right now. Quarter four is going to count the same as if we were actually in the school building. Ultimately, your teachers have been exceptionally understanding and accommodating. That will not change. You have our guarantee on that. However, you have to do your part and keep the lines of communication open. They can't, they won't grade thin air. Make sure you are communicative with your teachers. Lancer Fridays are set up as another means for you guys to be able to get information. Number two, got a few emails yesterday about locker clean out and uh, dropping off books and things like that. Listen, don't worry about that stuff right now. You still need your books. You still need your materials. Um, you know, everything else is going to come along with it. We're still in school. You need those things. We're still conducting virtual learning. We're going to get back to you guys with dates a little bit later on in June about when those sorts of things can take place. But right now, don't worry about it. It's May 5th. You know, don't be concerned. Number three, regarding an end of the year date, we're working on it. We have committee meetings tonight with the Board of Education. We're looking to, uh, you know, to modify our schedule for the rest of the year. Our normal academic year would have ended on June 24th. Again, these are things for us to be worried about. Don't worry about it whatsoever. Uh, number, I think I'm on number four. Number four, seniors, regarding graduation, uh, Ms. Mazza, Dr. Finkelstein, Ms. Harmon, Mr. Beatty, they've been working on plans in anticipation of the governor making an announcement that we wouldn't be able to have a conventional graduation. Trust me, they have a really good idea that's in the works right now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not withholding anything from you guys because I, I want to withhold anything from you. That's, that's not why I conduct these meetings and put myself on the internet every single day. The reason that I'm being ambiguous about this is because number one, I'm not involved in the decision-making processes. Number two, until a memorandum of agreement or a contract or you know a plan is formally approved by the Board of Education, you know, right now all it is is just conversation and conjecture. Just know that you know uh, students were consulted about different ideas that uh, that that team had, and uh, they they were they, they were pretty positive on this one. It was pretty cool. Uh, number five, I think. I'm not sure if I miscounted. I'm not going to go back and re-record this. I apologize. It's very cold out this morning. Um, thanks to Mr. Kel Pillshaw, Mr. Mike Kelly, Mr. Eric White, Mr. John Lauder. I'm fired up about this. It's my favorite thing, one of my favorite things about Lakeland Regional High School. We are doing a virtual coffee house this, house this year. Uh, check out the attached video that was put together by Mr. Kelly, Mr. White, and Mr. Lauder um, with editing the... Uh, the possibilities are endless. Your teachers are going to participate. Staff, are, they're, they're going to participate as well. So I encourage those people who normally participate in the coffee house, participate. I'm going to be emceeing it virtually. It's going to be a really cool event. Um, you know, one of the things that really is unique to Lakeland Regional High School. Number six, maybe, uh, National Honor Society, a great organization that we have within our institution sponsoring tutoring chat rooms. If you need help with any assignment whatsoever, make sure to reach out to Ms. Telshaw at her email address, it's included within the email that I send. Um, our schedule for the next two weeks looks like this. Today, Tuesday, May 5th is an A day. Wednesday, May 6th is a B day. Thursday, May 7th is an A day. Friday, May 8th is a Lancer day. Monday, um, May 11th is a B day. Tuesday, May 12th is an A day. Wednesday, May 13th is a B day. Thursday, May 14th is an A day. And then Friday, May 15th, that's a Lancer Day. And then finally, last but not least, I don't even know what number I'm on at this point. 
I'm walking on a different path today. I'm I'm totally, totally out of sorts. But whatever the last number is, see my hat's flipping up. I'm walking against against the wind right now. Um, This week marks National Teacher Appreciation Week. And uh, it's a, a pretty decent idea that I had. I have this, I had this weird dream the other night about, um, you guys are probably too young to remember this. Maybe if your parents are watching, they remember it. Or older siblings, they remember it too. Um, but there are these chain letters where you used to get a letter in the mail. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit young. I didn't get letters in the mail, but I used to get letters on AOL Instant Messenger, which was, uh, you can Google it, whatever. Um, you used to get these letters and say that, hey, if you don't pass this along, you're going to get seven years of bad luck. Your, your, your crush is never going to like you, which, you know, I guess I guess I didn't pass enough along. But uh, I can, they, they, you know, it was just kind of a funny thing that, that people did, you know, back in the day. And that, you know, you would have to, you would get a letter and then you'd get this and then you'd have to pass it along to everybody else. It was, uh, um, you know, kind of just a way to keep, you know, notes going along. So I kind of instituted that in regards to Teacher Appreciation Week. And um, the other night, I guess it was Sunday night, yeah, Sunday night, I put all the teachers' names, or all the staff members' names in a random name generator, you know, on the internet, and it spit out five names to me. And I got one social studies teacher's name, I got two science teachers' names, I got an art teacher's name, and then I got a uh, consumer science teacher's name. And... You know, I, I wanted to start out by writing five letters of appreciation, and then those people are henceforth tagged, and then they have to write a letter of appreciation about a staff member, and then you kind of continue the chain. And the reason I started with five is because if somebody didn't read their email, or you know, somebody just said, "Oh, I'm sure I can say something nice about me," and then you know, you know, delete, that we would still have four other avenues in which to kind of keep this thing going. And it. It was awesome because, you know, I, I wanted to pick names at random because it was important for me to, not, you know, to, to, to get out that message to as many different avenues as possible, you know, not just people that, you know, that, that I necessarily directly supervise. And it was so easy to write those letters. And the, the, the names were random. Trust me, they were ra- a random uh, assortment of people. And it was just so easy to write something great, a very short note, that was great about every single one of those individuals. And I just think, again, it speaks to how incredible our staff is in regard to fostering relationships, which for me is fundamental in developing the educational practice. So my challenge to you guys, is not just today, this week is this. Just pick a staff member. It, it, it does and just write a really quick email of appreciation because I got to tell you, it goes such a long way and you're going to feel better afterwards too. All right, guys, that's all I got. Have a great, great, great day. See you guys tomorrow.